Today I want to talk about the challenges of re-engineering a machine learning model to a deep learning model. Recently at OWL we've been working through these challenges and we found that many deep learning models did produce more accurate results, but the trade-off was a steep runtime cost. We found with the right amount of hyperparameter tuning, we were able to hit an inflection point where the payload made sense, but as the data sets got bigger, we always fell victim to the trade-off. We then looked out in the Spark community and found a sister model that we were also able to tune to outperform it in a distributed sense. So we took it from 200 minute original runtime down to about 100 minutes. And while that's a noteworthy gain in time, it still was not anywhere near our original machine learning runtime. But next what we evaluated was we wanted to process every column, every row, and every combination thereof. And to do that is a massive compute problem and would never achieve this goal. So we could downsample. That is a common way to solve this problem, except for you lose fidelity. And we do not want to lose fidelity or any accuracy on the data when it comes to anomalous or outlier activity. So what we decided to do was write a chunking strategy, much like block indexing, where we could break down a data set into equal parts, uh, like a segmentation exercise. Once we did that, we were able to train models to hit their correct parameters and achieve about a two minute runtime across five differently trained models. However, Spark is not what you would call re-entrant. So you run into another problem where a distributed model cannot redistribute another process. So you, we had to think outside the box and look at this as a sequential distributed process and rewrite it to be a parallel distributed process. That was able to net us an almost near perfect two minute runtime, but with some diminishing returns and context switching, we netted a three minute total runtime. So in about the time it took to watch this video, we were able to achieve 100% fidelity, near perfect accuracy, and an interactive runtime. If these are some of the challenges you face when converting machine learning models to deep learning models, reach out to us at Al. we'd love to help.